Hello and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 11 of Let's Play The Curse of Monkey Island. So in the previous episode, we managed to somehow or other get this ship. So yes, that's the ship, that's the crew, and we've just got to get a map. And like I said in the previous episode, I'm pretty sure we have to get the map off the back of that guy, literally the back, in the beach. So let's go and do that. I think I've got to put, from what I remember, it all came flooding back to me in a dream. It wasn't in a dream. It was just um, my memory slowly seeping back. I think I have to use the oil on the back and it kind of crisps it up. And I have to literally peel it off his back, which is both disgusting and satisfying in equal measures. And uh, yes, thank you very much for all the comments and likes over this series so far. I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Um, it would be uh, awesome if you could like this episode already. Yes, it's only one minute into it, but it's never too early. Right, so I'm going to I'm gonna spend a majority of my time trying to get this cooking oil. So we have to get rid of the cabana boy somehow. Let's talk to him first. I don't think there's any options to actually say to oh, him. Cabana boy. He just speaks to him. Will you bury me in the sand? I'll start digging your grave right now. Yeah, there's nothing really he says. Oh, cabana boy. May I help you? Nothing. I just wanted to be sure that you're there for me. Oh! <laughs> okay, so let's see what we have in our inventory. Uh, we've used the tooth, we've used the map, we've used that, we've used that, and that, and that. Um, what was the flyer? Let's have a look at the flyer. Feeling down because your chicks turned to gold? Come to the swamp, get your fortune told. Voodoo and things. Formerly just voodoo. Visit our new location on Plunder Island. Um, let's give that to him. I want to hang on to this flyer. There might be a... Yeah, I used the glove last time. A pin? I don't think he'd like that. Does seem a bit harsh. Um, a balloon. A lovely balloon. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. No, I don't think either. Um, skeleton arm? Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. don't really want to just use stuff on him. Or maybe he wants a biscuit. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. Now, what do we have here? So we've got towels. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a quick look around in case I'm missing anything. Because I'm very good at missing things. As you, um, as you well know, the pin went missing. Quite early on, didn't get that till episode. Lord knows what. Right, weenie roaster, cabana boy, sign, brimstone beach club. That's it. Deep fryer. Yeah, no. It looks like some of those are older than I am. Um. Yeah, no. What's this then? Encyclopedia. Have we used that yet? That was how to make a compass, wasn't it? Reservation slip, scissors, gum, hollow reed. I can't use the reed with that. I can't use the reed with that. Ice bucket. I can't use What the do we use the ice that. bucket for? Oh we we doused the towels, didn't we? I can't use the reed with that. Um right. Gonna pick up some more towels, just for the hell of it. I'll just take one more. Can't take any more. I've got enough towels. He's got enough towels. So wet towels. Can I just put more towels in there? Make them all wet. I mean, I know I've already done towels that. Are all wet now. I know I've already done that puzzle, but. Just to, just to throw at the cabana boy in his face. Have these towels. You sp oh my god, it worked. Papa Bichu! <laughs> oh my god. I did not see that coming. You are an absolute monster, Guybrush. I mean, I know he's a pirate and all that, but... Wowza, I did not see that coming. Right, I, yeah, I, I'm kind of vaguely remembering this now. That shocked me, that does. I did not expect him to do that. Oh, that is grim. Can I just take it off? 
quite looking forward to this noise. <laughs> oh my god. I really wish I didn't have to do that. <laughs> I think out of all three Monkey Island um, games so far, that has got to be the just downright grimmest uncalled for thing. Although sawing that guy's leg off in Monkey Island 2 was also a bit sociopathic. But needs must. It's an adventure game after all. And we're off. Oh wow. Awesome. Well, I've got a crew, a map, a ship, and finally got Elaine back. So what say we head on to Blood Island to lift the curse and save Elaine? How about it, guys? Let's get moving towards Blood Island. Let's head on out and find our fortune, guys. This might be more difficult than I first imagined. Yeah, part three. Three sheets to the wind. Wow, got there already. Part three. Ah, the sea. I, the sea, makes you glad to be alive. I think that ship is following us. Feel that salty spray. The sunlight sparkling off the bay. What a glorious seafaring day. It's a pirate ship. We've got to outrun her. All right, men, are you with me? Hey, look, guys, a whale. Where? Where? That ship is gaining on us. Cutthroat Bill, rig the topsail. Is that a right whale? No, no, lie. They're boarding us. Crew, help me out here. <laughs> it is a member of the Cetus suborder, Mr. Shetty, though. I think you're right. Well, well. Pottingham, so it's you. What do you want, other than a good toupee? I've come for your map to the fabled blood alarm. Then I'll find the diamond you mentioned. It will make a fun paperwork for my escritoire. Ooh, look! It's breaching! Ooh! Ah! Look, Baldy, I'll never give you that map. I need it to save Elaine. Then I'll have to take it from you by force. That whale must be 30.5 meters. 100 feet. And weigh <laughs> 200 metric tons. You know it, girls. In a sword fight, a sharp weed is much more important than a sharp blade. Of course. Everybody knows that, Chrome Dome. Let's get this over with. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. Oh, yeah? Well, you fight like a cow. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not right at all. What? On the sea, we fight it a little differently. On the sea, all your insults and threats have to rhyme. What? So when I say every enemy I've met, I've annihilated, you say... I once found some gold, but it was just electroplated? No! You say, with your breath, I'm sure they are suffocated. Let's try that again, shall we? You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Uh... I'm waiting. I... Uh, I... Just as I thought. You're an amateur with this world. Give me that map. Here, take it. <laughs> That's your map? Yeah. As soon as I throw piloting these waters, it's off to blood alone. Until we meet again, Monsieur Tweebud. I've got to get that map back or we'll never find Blood Island. Thanks, guys. You were a world of help back there. It was a rousing battle, Captain. I. And it reminds me of a song. <laughs> We're a band of vicious pirates a sailing out to sea. When you hear a gentle singing, you'll be sure to turn and flee. Oh, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Come on, men. We've got to recover that map. That pirate will be done for when he falls into our trap. We're a club of tune for rovers. We can sing in every clef. We can even hit the high notes. It's just too bad we're tuned deaf. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. <laughs> right, so we have to... I don't even know what I have to do. No time for song. We've got to move. The battle will be long, but our courage we will prove. Okay, so prove rhymes with move. We're a pack of scurvy. 
Rowdy Sea Dog. Have we pity not a dram? We are eat roasted garlic. Then sing from the diaphragm. A pirate I was meant to be. <laughs> Trim the sails and roam the sea. Oh god, so we've got to find something that doesn't rhyme. I'm sick of you guys and your rhyming. I mean, all these are going to... Mmm. Roam the sea. Less singing, more sailing. When we defeat our wicked foe, his ship he will be bailing. If you try to fight us, you will get a nasty whacking. If you disrespect our singing, we will feed you to a crack. <laughs> <laughs> I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Awesome. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. It's going to rhyme with stop, aren't they? The brass is what for polish and the deck is what for mop. You say you're nasty pirate scheming, thieving, bad bush whackers. From what I've seen, I tell you, you're not pirates, you're just slackers. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Uh, what well, was with pirate? Let's go defeat that evil pirate. We know he's sure to lose because we know just where to fire it. We're thieving balladeers, a gang of cutthroat mugs. To fight us off, you won't need guns. Just jolly good ear plugs. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. <laughs> All right, crew, let's get to work. I'm getting sick of you guys and your rhyming. What rhymes is rhyming? Timing. Uh, I'm getting so sick of you guys and your rhyming. We're ready to set priming. sail, though the cannons need a priming. We're troublesome corsairs, and we've come to steal your treasures. We would shoot you on the downbeat. But we got to rest five measures. A pirate I was, was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Right. Orange. Nothing rhymes with orange. That's got to be it. We'll surely avoid scurvy if we all eat an orange. And, um... Well, uh... Door hinge? <laughs> well, I guess the song's over then. Yes, so... Okay. Back to work. Door oh, hinge? gee, I feel a little guilty now. Captain. Yes, Mr. McMahon. We were wondering, we were... Just what kind of captain you are. What do you mean, Haggis? Well, some captains are men of action. They like to have complete responsibility and control for their ship. Other captains prefer to concentrate more on the thinking aspects of captaining. The captain who's a man of action will undoubtedly have a much more difficult time of defeating other scoundrels of the sea in the fast-paced realm of ship-to-ship -ship combat. The more academic captain will find the other pirate vessels he meets to be less aggressive and therefore far easier and quicker to defeat in combat. I see. So, Captain Threepwood, which type of captain be ye? Okay, so I guess I have to choose here. So I think probably the puzzles or the, the combat, I guess, will be slightly harder. I love a tough sea battle as much as the next captain. Or we can go the easier route. I think that I'd rather let you guys help me out. What do you think, guys? Um... Kind of want to get it hard. Yeah, let's do that one. I love a tough sea battle as much as the next captain. Challenging ship combat it is. So we've got ship combat. What do we have to do now? No, I'm terrible at folding up maps. Uh, where am I? Okay, I guess I'm there. So I guess it's kind of like on Melee Island where you just kind of bump into each other and you do sword fights, maybe? Oh god, where am I? I'm over here. Come on then. What am I, what am I doing? Oh, right. Did I... Oh, if I right click, then I... Fire cannons. Okay, so I have to... I have to sink the ship. Right click. Did I get it? Yes. Oh, that's a little... Oh, this is quite tricky, actually. Right click. Can I board it? The pirates have been defeated. You'd better leave now if you value your life. 
Uh, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. I've come to plunder your treasure. Oops, I thought you were somebody else. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. So we have to make sure that it rhymes. Every enemy, I, every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. What? We haven't got. Oh no, we did get the answer to that, didn't we? Uh, it's pretty much just. Just sword fighting, like the first one, insult sword fighting, but we have to make them rhyme. So I guess we just have to collect a bunch of them. You're as repulsive as a monkey in an negligee. I'm shaking, I'm <laughs> shaking. Oh yeah. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Come and face to face with me, must leave you petrified. Well, we're not going to win any of these, are we? Because we haven't got the answers to these. Well, I'm fit to be tied. Well, I'm fit to be tied. I'll hound you night and day. Um, with your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Good one, Guybrush. Give me your treasure. Well, if I hadn't, you'd be the first one to get it. Arr. I guess I need more practice with this sword fighting stuff. Hey, at least I showed him in the high seas combat part. Okay, so we just look at that navigational chart. Weak cannons. Do we have to upgrade these? I better save my ammo for battle. Can we go anywhere else? <laughs> <laughs> Treasure hold. Is there any treasure in the hold? It's empty. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we just just carry on. Just carry on doing this. I don't want to talk at it, I want to look at it. And I guess if we win a fight, we might win some... What's that say? Really? Really not fierce and pirate. A pirate ship can be hazardous to oh. Life. It's the I'm same guy. A mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Right. Did we get the answer to that one? We didn't. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I look that much like your fiance. Yeah, get there. So we don't actually have the answers to anything else except when the your first one. When first saw you, he must have been mortified. It pays to keep a glass of water at your bedside. <laughs> it does, but... Come and face to face with me must leave you petrified. Uh, did you say something? I'm a little preoccupied. Give me your treasure. If I had treasure, don't you think I'd spend it before grappling with the likes of you? I, I suppose you <laughs> would. Never mind then. Never mind then. Right, let's do it again. Um, I keep. Oh, look at. Keep going to pick it up. Right, really not fierce and pirate. Let's do it again. A pox on you for pardon me, ship. I've come to plunder your treasure. You won't live to regret this. Right, so we have loads of things to ask and still no responses. So we've got a response to that and that, but none of the Your others. Your father first saw you, he must have been mortified. Oh, yeah? Ah, oh, damn it. I'll hound you night and day. Oh, yeah? Was that hound you night and day even one of them that he said before? Coming face to face with me must leave you petrified. I am rubber, you are glue. Oh yes, we won one. Excellent. You win! Give me your treasure. Yeah, grubby bilge swigger. The treasure is yours. We're loaded with booty. Fabulous. So what do we do with the treasure? Look at all that booty. What can we use the treasure for? Is there anywhere else to go on the map? Let's have a, let's have a closer look. That's a question mark. Plunder, Town Harbour. Oh! Someone got me. Somebody got me. Where are you? Does that... Does that matter? The wind? Do you reckon? Do I go faster? Whoa! They can fire. Oh, okay. So maybe I, I guess I have to upgrade my cannon. I'm gonna regret this. Sea cucumber has been defeated. Lost a sea battle. How humiliating for oh. a pirate of my skill and experience. <laughs> Which is what guy brush zero. Um, if I go back to the town harbour, 
Think I can update stuff? Captain Rottingham. Whoa! That. You lost again. Is harsh. What am I doing wrong? Right, let's have a look. I'm gonna go here. See if we can spend our um, spend our money. Well, well, well. Hmm. I'll say this. I guess you learned an important lesson about cheating. When you cheat others, you're really cheating yourself. Winners never cheat, and cheaters never win. Cheating can make you make you rich, but it won't make you happy. Cheating can make you rich, but it won't make you happy. Boy, do I know that now. Golly. I'll never cheat on anyone ever again. Honest. I've got a new business now. And gosh, it's swell. What is it? I'm running guns. Tell me you're lying. I never lie anymore, mister. You've shown me the light. Can I interest you in some shrapnelizing ammunition designed to bring exquisite pain and unreasonable suffering to all your enemies? That sounds awesome. I'm a fearsome pirate. Yeah, well, you may be a pirate, but you aren't a fearsome pirate unless your ship is equipped with the latest in offensive weaponry from Bob's Big Four Boomer brand Cannon Incorporated. However, I see that you are a pirate ready to take that first step towards becoming the ultimate fearsome pirate. Today, customer name here, uh, what's your name again? <laughs> Today, Mr. Cheap Hood, I can offer you the complete line from Bob's Big Board Boomer Brand Cannon Incorporated. To start with, we have the entry-level model, the Buccaneers Buddy. We also have the following cannon models available. The Ouchmaster, the Homemaker Deluxe, the Pain Giver 2000, Mr. Massacre, and finally, the cannon used by that most fearsome scoundrel, Rene Rottingham himself, the Destructomatic T-47. So, can I interest you in any of these models, mister? I mean, they all sound pretty cool, but I doubt we have enough. I'll take the Destructomatic T-47. You've just ordered the Destructomatic T-47 armor-piercing carnage delivery system with auto-loading and fax motor. Quite a fine piece of hardware, if I do say so myself. Now, will that be doubloons, jewels, captured maidens? Uh, my ship's hold is full of booty. Um, let's try that one. Oh, my ship's hold is full of booty. Well, the amount in your treasure hold is not enough for this model. Not even if I take your old cannon and give you credit for the trade-in. Can I interest you in a less expensive model? Okay, so let's see if we can get... Um, the Homemaker Deluxe? I'll take the Homemaker Deluxe. Well, the amount in your treasure okay, hold is not right. enough for this model. Not even if I take your old cannon and give you credit for the trade-in. Can I interest you in a less expensive model? I guess we just have to go I'll bit by bit. Buddy. The Buccaneer's buddy it is. Let me just check my stock. Yep, we got him. You will not be disappointed, my friend. I'll have my mom install your new cannon <laughs> prono. While she's at it, I'll also have her pick up the appropriate amount from your hold and pick up your trade-in. Mom! Right. I guess we go back here with new cannons. Level 2 cannons. So, I guess that's the I guess that's the the thing that we have to do now. Just keep updating stuff. Right, what I'm going to do is fight the next pirate and see what happens. So, I guess it does more damage. It probably fires further. I mean, that was pathetic, to be honest. Oh, that was rubbish. Come on, fire again. Gotcha. The pirates have been defeated. Awesome. If you're looking for a fight, you found one. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Right, we've got that one, got that one. Did we have that one? When Let's your try father it. first saw you, he must have been mortified. At least mine can be identified. Heaven preserve me. You look like something that's died. At least mine can be identified. <laughs> that doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> I'll hound you night and day. Uh, At least mine can be identified. <laughs> I love that. 
Oh, I've at least two on that loose. Oh, all right, okay. I'll let you live if you give me your treasure. I haven't got any treasure. Why do you think I was attacking you? Oh, okay. So that's the plan, guys. And it looks like that's going to be the plan for the next episode. So if you have enjoyed this episode, we're finally on the seven seas. Please smash that like button. It genuinely really helps. Generally, not genuinely. You know what I mean. Genuinely really helps. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing right now. And take care.